Hey everybody, Mike here from wheatbeat.com and if you've been watching my series a little bit, you know I'm building a micro bakery inside my brand new house that's under construction. If you want to click the link up above, you can find out more uh, and get some background on what we've done so far. But today, uh, it's a little bit of an update. It's been a while since I've done any kind of update because not a lot's been going on here. I'm sort of waiting for inspections and I'm waiting for equipment to come in. But lo and behold, something did show up yesterday and I want to share it with you because it's kind of exciting. It's this box right here. See this box? I'm going to call it the mystery box because we don't really know what's in it yet, do we? I'm going to open it today and show you. So join me. So here is the box and I did get it by uh, freight and we've done freight before. You can look back at this video where we got the convection oven and, and kind of see how that all went. Here's Milo checking it out. He's very good at smelling things but even he doesn't know what's in this box. One of the cool things about it is it comes with this, uh, this thing here that shows you if the box has been tipped over and if the sand in this triangle uh, shows up here in this triangle then you know that the box has been tipped over and you're supposed to refuse it. I thought that's kind of cool uh, but anyhow let's stop and open the box and see what's inside. Okay here it is what do you suppose this giant thing is? If you guessed spiral mixer, you guessed correctly. So it's still in the packaging. I'm gonna take it all out and we're gonna take a look at this thing and talk about it a little bit. Okay, so I got it out of the packaging and let's take a closer look at this thing. Wow, this is a piece of work. This is the Fromage IM40. It's uh, basically a commercial style spiral mixer and it is looking beautiful. This is my first chance to actually see it up close. Everything up to now has just been uh, online. So <laughs> let's take a look at some of the uh, details here. And this is really a commercial piece of equipment. I also have the IM10, which is a quarter of the size. This is the on off switch. Um, this one also comes with a timer. The Fomage IM10 that I have, and by the way, the IM10, that review, if you want to look at it, I will post it in the comments below uh, so you can see I have a pretty detailed review of that smaller Fomage. But since I've been so happy with that mixer, I figured if I'm going to get a bigger one for this micro bakery, I'm going to get another Fomage. I got it through Pleasant Hill Grain. Uh, they're a great, great dealer, very reliable. They shipped this out. Literally, this was on the truck like 24 hours after I ordered it. So the, the shipping was very, very prompt. The service was excellent. I'm not paid by Pleasant Hill Grain at all. I don't, I don't get anything for telling you they're a great company and I do recommend them. But anyhow, back to this mixer. We have a, a power switch down here that we looked at, but we also have an on off switch. We have a variable speed on here and then we have a timer. Uh, over here we obviously have the safety uh, great and then inside we can see that we have a very very robust breaker bar here and if you don't know what this is for obviously when I do a more in-depth review of this mixer I'm going to talk about the differences between your KitchenAid and a spiral mixer and specifically a spiral mixer with a breaker bar and then we also have this uh, rotating hook and then it's coordinated with the bowl that also rotates as you can see. This is uh, 40 quarts, I believe. That's why it's an IM40. But wow, this thing is built like a tank. Uh, the bowl itself, actually inside here, I can see has like a roller. So as this bowl spins, it's, it's uh, reinforced by this roller here. So it's not wobbling around. But the bowl is fixed to the machine itself. It is not detachable like it is on the smaller Fromage that I have. The machine is made in Italy, uh, which is kind of cool. So, you know, it's not um, made in China, which is something I'm definitely looking for. 
but overall this looks beautiful. So I'm gonna take it out of the crate. It's got caster wheels here as you can see, so I can roll it over to the bakery, put it in. The only other thing to note is that these bigger spiral mixers do come with a 240 volt uh, plug and so you can't just plug this into your household line so i did have them put in a or i'm going to have them hook up the right receptacle for this this is called the nema 6-20 uh, uh, plug so it's 240 volts and uh, 20 amps and that should take care of this machine so let's get it in the bakery and then we can look at it some more okay we got it in and in case you uh, needed a little reminder Last time I showed you how we got the convection oven in and uh, that's looking good. I did get a refrigerator too. I didn't mention that in the last video. This is for the um, bakery. It's separate from the rest of the house uh, and it's just a regular French door refrigerator. There's nothing special about it, but it's wide so I can get full size trays in there and things like that. So that's good. Uh, probably not full-size trays now that I look at it because it's not deep enough But it is long enough that I can get some kind of trays in there But this is what you were waiting for here is the spiral mixer and It's basically in the position. It's going to be in the bakery sort of the final location I can't plug it in to show you because They have the wiring here as you can see for 240 volts, but it's no receptacle So as soon as they put in a receptacle, I'll be able to plug it in and and um, Get it going and then we'll look at it one more time. Hey, look at that They gave me another apron Isn't that beautiful? Anyhow um, We got uh, instruction manual in here and some, some kind of uh, a recipe book, I guess uh, which looks largely useless and it's in Italian, so I don't know what they want me to do with that uh, But the manual luckily is in English so and uh, Gives you a lot of good information there on how to maintain this. So anyhow, I'll put this back in we will um, Actually, I'll leave it out because I have a feeling the electricians are going to plug it in and make sure it works But anyhow, that's it for today. We got our Good sized, I would say, spiral mixer into the bakery. And by the way, it was no small feat. I had to have another uh, person help me because it does weigh about 300 pounds. Luckily, it has wheels, so we were able to put a ramp and roll it in, but it is very, very heavy. Uh, but now that it's, it's here on the wheels, it's actually quite easy to move it around, so that's no big deal. Anyhow, Join me next time. I don't know exactly what the topic of the next video is going to be yet. I do have the deck oven on the way. That's going to be a, a really big deal and a big video. And other than that, you know, we're going to start outfitting this bakery with more stuff. Uh, work surface, sink, those kinds of things, shelving, and we're going to really get this thing wrapped up. Next week, I'm getting my final inspection on the house. So we're expecting to move into this house on Thursday, which is like super exciting for us and we've been waiting for this a long time and once I'm living here uh, Hopefully after next week I'll be able to really start ordering all the things that will make this bakery complete So join me next time and until then go bake something